I just always wonder how you guys work it out if you know there's times and it's really tight or really hard or something you know that maybe I'm not aware of that I should be aware of when I'm booking things and routing. We always plan ahead for that extra time. Uh, plan tonight at the Buckhorn Bar in Laramie, 8 o'clock, and then Saturday night at Johnny Max in Rock Springs, also an 8 o'clock showtime uh, before heading way up north to Canada for a series of concerts. So again, really great to have you in on this uh, kind of a rainy afternoon here in Wyoming, uh, at least in Laramie. I've never seen any artist play for three and a half solid hours without taking a single break. Impressions. Was this your first time seeing Michael? Yes. Okay. <laughs> it was impressive, and yeah. it was really a shock when the set never stopped. That was you guys awesome. played, played it in your heart zone. Uh, it's one thing Michael does not do. He doesn't take breaks. Oh, uh, it's just it's just his work ethic. He he uh, once he starts playing, he likes to keep the uh, crowd engaged. Oh, that energy just yeah. I promise not to embarrass you. And he never answered me like for a month. <laughs> you do one song but if you're no good I'm kicking you off the stage <laughs> so, that, that's how we got to meet. and how long ago was that oh that's about 15 years ago yeah it's Christian Pleader man if I could sing my song the way I feel deep inside of me <laughs> I would sing it to you. Well, I met Michael Charles. He's right here at the Lewis and Clark Brewery in Helena, Montana. And uh, he was doing a fantastic show. We just came on a whim. I was photographing him. I worked up about courage. 
church to go say hi to him. Yeah. And uh, show him what I was doing, and the rest is history. up there. Jerry said, wow, you you know, you've got to hear this guy, you've got to see this guy, he's fantastic. And I have always been, I love, I love uh, guitar, I love electric guitar, and I love finger works and, and watching people play guitar, so I said, yeah, yeah, i got to go back, you know, we'll, we'll go and check this out. Well, man, can Michael Charles ever play guitar? <laughs> How did you come about coming across Michael? Well, I uh, heard about him through other word of mouth. I listened to his music yes. and I went, this is exactly what I want here at Lorenzo. A little chilly. Not too bad though. Fresh. It's livable. Michael, he's just a super guy. Yeah. And, uh, um, we're honored to have him every time he comes through this part of the world and, and uh, a great performer obviously and, and just uh, a class act all the way through. Heard about how good he was and, and uh, uh, we were uh, fortunate enough that they came through and wanted to play here and, and, uh, and it's been a great relationship ever since. Okay. I'm the kind of guy that looks at the future. I don't care what I've done. You know, what's mm. done is done and, and, and great. But I don't, I don't live by that. I like to think, what am I going to do tomorrow? That's what's important to me. All the way to St Kilda, come on, how are you doing? Good. Yeah. You're looking good. Thank you. Enjoy. Hey, Selleck, how you doing? Come on, we're doing. Good. How you doing, man? Good. How, how are you doing? You again? <sighs> oh my God. Yes. Fantastic. Oh, come on in. Let's see. Yeah. I'll give you this. Good to see you, brother. <laughs>
side of the planet, I think. <laughs> yeah, as they say, down under. Yeah, so uh, we were a little tour in Australia, then we get back uh, after two weeks and then uh, going off into Canada for a few weeks. So yeah, it's just constant touring. <laughs> other here at Buds on Broadway. Um, probably one of the best things I can say about Mike. Loving his music and love working with him and his professionalism. But what's better than him and his musical ability is him as a person. I've grown to be friends over the years and love it when he's in town. I love working with him. along on a very personal level. To him, it's more like he's more of a friend first oh, yeah. he is a band leader or boss. Jane probably reached out to us okay. originally, yeah. so his publicist, and um, when she found out that we had a venue here, and so we got him booked in, and uh, very struck by his talent and professionalism. So I like it that he knows what he's doing, and he comes in, and, and he puts on a good show that's really very consistent. Uh, so we, we know he enjoys what he does. Yeah. He's like the ultimate professional. I mean, he, he comes here, he does his work. Mm -hmm. Great songwriter. We really appreciate the original material. Mm -hmm. um, and I, we have an audience that also appreciates original material. So mm -hmm. the fact that uh, when he does a cover, he does it his way. It's not uh, trying to imitate the way the original artist did it. So no, I really appreciate the type of music he does. So. Thank he you plays me. really, really well. He likes the wah wah bar a lot. <laughs> and he's got really good picking and awesome. Keeps going and going, going, no breaks. Awesome. One, two, three. First time, first time seeing Michael. No. Uh, where did you hear from him? Uh, how did you hear about him? Heard him here. Oh, heard him here. Yeah. Okay. Seen the advertisement on it. Uh, what do you think about the show? I mean, obviously you're back. 
Well, I've enjoyed the talents. Yeah. You know, I'm an enjoyer of talent, and uh, Michael has a ton of it. Yeah. Stop what I'm doing. Oh, I know. And yeah. To, to watch and not only that, you usually run to the grocery store and make Michael something very special yes. for him. And right? I have it here tonight, too. <laughs> so, what do you think about the show tonight? Oh, it was fantastic. Yeah. And I'll be back again next year. anywhere and he can fill any venue and here he is and I always say I'm so humbled that he is here he can be playing downtown Calgary somewhere in a venue eight times this size yeah. and have it packed full and he doesn't. He comes here, he values family, he knows um, that's where our value lies, is with family. And um, that, that was just, that's my impression of Michael. And he is, um, we've invited him to our home. He's, he always is busy heading off to the next, uh, oh, yeah. next yeah, venue. Thing. Yeah. Hey, it's only one set. One set, but we're at one the bird house. Yeah, yeah. How was it? Fantastic. Yeah. Time flew by, man. Awesome. Time flew awesome. by. It's just uh, what a what a what an interesting thing, especially here. Yeah. To play under under the under the wire. No, it was so great. Speak, no, it was great. You know, you still get your yayas out in a, at a at a mellow at a mellow thing. Right. Awesome. Was, well, uh, thanks to have you aboard. Thank we're gonna you, have fun. my third or fourth time, I can't remember. But Michael's been coming here for a long time, I think. I just picked up on him, but enjoy the hell out of it. Was it the first time you saw him here for the first time ever, or did you hear him on the radio? Seen him here. Oh, met him I here, okay. Here. Tom Naffer, my good friend here, he, uh, he knew all about him. Here. Yeah. It was nice, you know, it was uh, amazing. He's such a guitarist, such awesome, a treat. Awesome. Thank you, thank Cheers. you. Cheers. You saw Michael for the first time 20 years ago, and where was that at? At Buddy Guy's Bar in Chicago. Oh, Buddy Guy's Legends, okay. And Buddy was playing, and, and, and he must have walked in. Oh, he, just, he said, here's my, like, I think Buddy's a new friend or something. It took me quite a while to recognize him. Yeah. Awesome. Like, I heard him play on YouTube. Oh, Today, nice. actually, oh, so when wow. I realized, oh, I've wow. seen it before. I went through a snowstorm to get here. Oh, <laughs> No, okay, no, that's right. it. That's, right. Yeah, I hate to put you on the spot, but yeah, it's just, yeah, you got yeah. me on the spot, all right, Charlie. <laughs> no, he's one of my favorite guitarists. No, th yeah. you know, thank you for coming out because I mean, if it's not, if it wasn't for the fans, then I mean, we we couldn't come out, you know. For us in a small town in Saskatchewan, yeah, we can't believe he comes here and plays. Out in the cold, freezing, you're in the middle of nowhere. Everybody, we can see. At the place, the people have to be. I'm talking, I'm talking to each other about the things we have to see. One thing, we'll, we'll, we'll 
we've rectified tonight when we do the end of this. Bang! Doom! Right into the next song. I'm wound up now! <laughs> <laughs> Got a happy girl, huh? I'm a way happy girl. It was fantastic. Awesome. Oh my god, well, it was great! I've seen Michael Charles what, four times. I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Anyway, yeah, he's great. Fantastic. Thanks for feeding my spirit. Uh, thank you. I remember the first time he played here, he just blew me away. Yeah, here we are, Byron's again. What can I say? Great place. But he's just fantastic. What a yeah. guitar player. Michael, because he came to Columbus, Nebraska. Is this your second or third? This is our third year third, here. Yeah, yeah, third yeah. time here. Yeah. They're coming back again about the same time, right yes, around Thanksgiving. You, you guys already booked. You guys already on, booked the show a, before yes. we got here. Yeah, yeah. A year out, we booked Michael because yes. the dude's awesome. to our next venue and oh we had to replace uh get the tire patched up mm, yeah. so the, yeah that that the extra time that we had to say maybe get a bite to eat shower and so forth <laughs> no <laughs> we, we used it for the tire <laughs> You know that this is the largest I mean we're talking the largest truck stop in the world how large large I always wonder when I'm booking the shows and the television and the radio looking at Google Maps trying to decide Okay, I don't want to go over four and a half hours in between because I know four and a half hours really means six hours. Mm -hmm. It could be even more if it's a different time of the day, the weather. So you are here playing a series of concerts, and we're going to find out a little bit about who you are as a musician. But first, just let us know who you are as a person. I'm just a regular guy that loves playing the music and uh, I just do what I do. You do what you do. I just travel around. <laughs> in Phoenix, Arizona, and I got a call from my uh, my partner who yeah. was uh, just happened to be here and was walking by, and he called me down in Arizona, and he said, uh, they need help. They are so busy right now. Yeah. This place is packed. First time I actually saw Michael was the second time he performed here, and it was that same sort of thing. It was just packed. We were ready that time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we yeah. were ready for it. He has this way when he's performing of just sort of captivating the crowd and, and really drawing people in. Like he, he plays, it's impressive and you can just tell he loves it. Yeah. He's just up there and he just loves to play, he loves every moment of it. The highlight of his day is when he stands on stage and performs. <laughs> I do the best I can in the office, not being on the road, not being aware of things, but take try to take in everything into consideration. You guys do your best by, you know, not dawdling, not stopping, right. really hustling. So I think that's why it works out because we're all really right there. We're, and, we're on it. Yeah, on it. <laughs> Yeah. It was like, like just lost for words. No, thank you for having us. Most bands, they'll come to Buzz on Broadway, and they'll, they'll take their breaks. They'll yeah. take their, they'll do a half hour set, go drink for 15, 20 minutes, and then come back. But this guy, like yeah. he doesn't take those breaks, and he's continuously every time, nonstop shredding, and it's 
It's impressive. Awesome. It's, it's impressive. He deserves all the credit that he gets. squeeze television in every once in a while I get really excited I think I can do something run down and check it with the boss man and he's like are you kidding me we don't even think about it mm -hmm. it's just we, we we're, we're done with the show we tear down sometimes we we've got enough time to take a shower uh, get a quick bite to eat and then we're off sometimes we don't even have time to, to take a nap or whatnot but it's yeah it uh, we make it work Michael is a guy who is beyond good at what he does. He's not a... Michael Charles is not a journeyman. He's not a veteran. He's an innovator. What he does with that guitar is second to none. 90% of the time, it's like, I know this is going to be tight, Michael, but you know, you, you've got four and a half hours, and then you got this, and you, just, you think you can do this, you know, radio, you know, the, we got to do it. Let's yeah. just do it. We'll do it. You know, so that's usually what I hear. We have a bit of a reputation as being a pretty good place to play. Yeah. And because of that, uh, Jane called us up and uh, she asked me if I'd be interested in having uh, Michael Charles come, come to play. And I says, well, Michael Charles, Chicago Blues Hall of Fame. I said, I don't think we can afford him. <laughs> and she says, well, um, well uh, what if we made it affordable? So you, you, you could afford him. I said, well, we'd be happy to have him. It would be great yeah. to have him. And that's kind of set up a series of concerts that are going to continue on. Oh, I got to play with him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was kind of an amazing, amazing thing. from you know radio to TV to hotel to venue I mean how is he, his demeanor uh, and how is yeah, how are things we're all human uh, you know there's times where you know he I know he's very tired um, I know he's stressed but uh, at the same time it's you got to get through it